Mike Zhang has come a long way in a short time. For three months, he sat in an immigration detention facility near Cleveland, where each day he lived with the fear that at any moment he would be taken from his cell and put on a plane back to China. But thanks to some influential friends, Zhang is free. The people that are helping me, they got good heart, very good heart. Um, i just so touched by their generosity, and they're so kind. Not only is Mike happy to be back inside his kitchen doing what he does best, so are his customers. I'm very happy that they opened. I've been coming here for years. Oh, the food is great. <laughs> Tasty, reasonably priced, and just terrific. When Mike was taken into custody in September, one of the first people to call, his wife Sherry, with the offer of help, was former Toledo Mayor Cardi Finkbeiner. And then to have uh, the husband, Mike, um, on the verge of being departed back to his home country when he and his wife and children have been here and so much a part of our culture for the last few years with this dynamite restaurant that we're standing within the doors of right now, that just seemed terribly unfair. Zhang's case is not over. He will have a hearing before a federal panel in Cincinnati sometime next year. Mayor Finkbonner urged them to keep in contact with local politicians. But we don't want to take anything for granted. We want to keep them working with Marcy Kaptur, our two United States senators, immigration authorities. I hope that I can be able to stay here and do what I'm doing and we'll go from there. As long as I can stay here, everything will be okay. This family represents it, represents that work ethic and that attitude and that spirit. So God bless them. There they are, right back there. God bless them. God bless you for bringing this message to all of the people of Northwest Ohio. Hubert Wiggins, WNWO News.